This is not my usual backdrop, let me tell you, I wish it was. But today, I am on a girls getaway, actually, for three days. I'm with a very dear friend of mine, as well as my 13-year-old daughter, and we are at Sirvani Yas Island. It's an island off the coast of Abu Dhabi, and it is about a four-hour trek from Dubai. Yesterday was a big travel day for us, but so well worth it. I recently had someone on a community tab ask me to do some vlogs whenever I travel, thank you for that idea and I thought you know what this is the perfect timing and the perfect place we are just lounging relaxing my daughter's missing four days of school and she's so excited but you know what? I think sometimes the real education just comes from experiencing different things in life and when you have the opportunities take them hi my name is lauren o'connell and i am the beauty editor at cosmopolitan middle east magazine i'm also a 40 year old mom of two living in dubai i'm a skincare fanatic and as you can tell by my accent i'm originally from the usa i'm from milford connecticut and i've been living in the uae for the last 14 years Ooh, my arm's getting tired. So I'm just gonna take you with me on this little trip, show you some clips of some fun stuff that we're doing, cool things that we're seeing. This place is packed with wildlife. There's gazelles, there's oryxes, we have Egyptian geese. There are lots and lots of peacocks running around. This morning, I saw a small creature called a hyrax. There's also cheetahs and giraffes. So we're doing a safari tomorrow. My daughter did horse riding in the ocean today and we have some nature walks coming up and some relaxation too we're heading to the spa in a little bit so come join me have some fun and see what Sirbani Yas Island is all about I always love to see what hotel rooms and villas look like on the inside and that's why I'm showing you ours we're staying in a two-bedroom villa right on the beach the outside of the villa contains a majulus which is a sitting area and you can see that it's possible to even have a fire or barbecue in the cooler months inside the villa is another sitting room followed by my daughter Veronica in my bedroom with two beds and a nice view of the ocean we have a luxurious bathroom and unfortunately Unfortunately, I set off the fire alarm a few times because my showers got too steamy. <laughs> Oops. On the other side of the villa, we have a kitchen and a dining room and another bedroom with the same style of bathroom. The bathtub is amazing. It's so big and I love the rain showers as well. Outside, we have a few sitting areas along with a plunge pool and of course, some animal friends. At the top of the villa, there is another sitting area, a dining area. I should say it was a big table with lots of chairs to watch the ocean see the sunrise or at nighttime see the stars so now we're gonna have a quick meal I'm going to run to the gym because I'm actually going to be filming for a very popular reality TV show next week that I'm sure you know about I'll tell you about that more when I can and then we are heading to the spa I finished my workout and I just got to the spa and look what's here it's a mama and her baby. These beautiful, beautiful gazelles. And the mom was looking at me before, and I think she decided I wasn't a threat, so she went back to munching on her grass. But isn't that just so gorgeous? I love this place. So my workout was over. It was killer. And now it's time for a quick shower and some R&R. &R. I love these infused waters. This is something that I'm gonna start making more of at home. They're so delicious and why not? Well, here I am in my workout gear. <laughs> and we have some dates and some, I'm not sure what this drink is. I think, oh, it's a tea, maybe a ginger. Is this a ginger tea? Yeah, would you like me a ginger tea? Yeah, it's perfect, thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. And Veronica and I are about to relax, indulge. Ron, are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. So much better than being in school, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is our room. How lovely. And looking right out is the beautiful sea. 
Good morning. We woke up early to see the sunrise and it did not disappoint. Today we're doing an early morning game drive to see all the animals on the island. It's owned by the royal family and a lot of the animals are native to the UAE and others are from neighboring countries in Africa as well as India and a few others. Not your typical morning but here I am hanging out with this beautiful giraffe who's super friendly. Just watching your face right now. In my teenager's words, the drive was so worth the early wake up time. In addition to hanging out with the giraffes, we also saw two cheetahs who'd been rescued from a zoo. Right now, those cheetahs, I didn't get any great videos of them because they're in an enclosed area and they're actually being taught how to hunt. I forgot to mention this earlier, but we came with a friend of mine who is very private and doesn't get photographed or filmed. So our girls trip actually consisted of the three of us. After the drive, we were ready to go back to the villa, but Veronica was not done with the animals quite yet. Yesterday, she went horseback riding on the beach and today she opted to horseback ride again, but with the giraffes. I refused to go on a horse, so she was all on her own with the instructor and the pictures and videos she showed me speak for themselves. What an experience. Our three nights on the island were so relaxing and it was the perfect escape from bustling Dubai. There is nothing else to say except until next time.